What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Rune Bean. Welcome to another episode of Packages from Subscribers. The series I started up so I can show you guys some of the awesome trades that I get to make with a lot of you out there, as well as the completely random stuff you guys like to send sometimes. You never have to do that. It's not what this is about. Like I always say, if you ever get that inclination to want to send me something, send me a message on Instagram. Maybe we can work out a trade and you'll get something out of it. But if you just want to send something, I'm not going to stop you. Completely honored you'd want to do so. So the P.O. Box information is in the description below. With that said, guys, we got... As you saw from the thumbnail, we got a mountain of stuff to go through. Some of the stuff is trades or, or work that you guys are having me do for you. So sit back and relax. Let's, let's see what we got. guys so like i'm all like i always say uh, anytime if you send anything and it's something that we're working on a trade or work that you want me to do everybody knows my memory is terrible so always make sure you include a note or the second you see this video posted if this is one of your packages just let me know and remind me what's going on because i dealing with so many people i can get forgetful uh with that said too just try not to send something without a trade being being set up that just makes things easier um so anyways guys the first package we got right here Zach Payne. I am terrible with names. I'm very good with screen names. So if you put your screen name on here, I can recognize that usually a lot easier than I can for the names. But there's a lot of names that I can just remember because um, I've been de excuse me dealing with them for quite some time. So anyways, Mr. Zach Payne. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, I know exactly what the at this is at this is that package. Let me open it up carefully, and I'm pretty yeah I'm I'm yeah this is awesome. So. Everybody knows I had had no luck getting one of these because I've gotten a bootleg before. And he's like, man, I picked one of these up. Do you want one? Uh, and all, I just had to pay the guy for it. You know, that with the shipping. Shipping was very cheap. And I'll, I'll let me just read the note. You probably already know what it is. Uh, Dear Rain Bean, I have been watching since right around 2,000 subscribers. That's a long time ago. My YouTube main is Pain Drift. Yo, yeah, see, I know that name. I, I absolutely know that name. Although recently I've been lacking on watching due to being so busy. I really apologize about that. Anytime you can watch is awesome. Uh, it's so awesome to see how your channel has grown along with your game room. I remember that little tiny room you used to have that was just jam-packed from floor to ceiling. Anyway, I ended up getting the Nest Classic Edition at Amazon. Uh, restock and message you through Instagram about selling it to you plus shipping, which you did. I didn't have to get up and I got one. Uh, very awesome. So I will be paying him if you could send me the money through PayPal, which I'm going to do that after I do this, which is what I do with a lot of my packages or trades. The next day is usually when I get almost everything mailed out that we're trading for or start the work on. Uh, just message me through Instagram to get my email. You don't need to hear that. I really uh, like you. Uh, I really hope you enjoy the Nest Classic. I absolutely love mine. Keep making amazing content. I'm so excited to watch your channel grow even further as you truly deserve it. Thank you for always being super friendly with your audience and taking the time out of your day to talk to each and one of us. Hope you had a great 4th of July, Zach. And I did have an awesome 4th of July. Uh, this is it, guys. This is a, an actual reel. It's real, damn it. It's still real to me, damn it. NES Classic Edition. I have no reasons to doubt this person. I'm going to hook this up and play it in my uh, master bedroom with the big 4k tv even if it won't be 4k it's to be hd and awesome i'm very excited about that thank you for that you'll get your payment uh probably here pretty soon uh, you probably won't you'll probably get it before this video is even out so that i i have got to do i got to do my best on not making this room a disaster because each time i have done this it turns into a disaster but that that's a box i want to save right there that's a good box all right next package this is through a buddy of mine robbie I actually did that Game Boy Advance mod, or, you know, that Frankenstein in my last vlog episode for him. Notice I'm getting real, real dangerous with this thing. He was at a gaming convention, and he's like, anything you want me to look out for? I was like, man, if you come across any cheap Turbo Graphics games, uh, hit me up. And he did, and you're going to see some amazing heavy hitter titles right here that they're not. They were cheap, and I paid him for these, so he just kind of hunted for me up there, which is awesome. I uh, even bubble wrap these little things. Not complete, but that's okay because my TurboGrafx collection, I can count on both hands and I can't fill up the fingers. 
Uh, so we got right here, we got sports TV football and world-class baseball. I didn't pay much at all for these, but he was able to pick them up cheap. I was able to pay him. He sent them to me. Thanks, Mr. Robbie. Very happy about adding those to the collection. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Some of this stuff is probably going to fall uh, as, as we get it. And I don't I don't want that to happen. Freaking. I told you. I told you. So you might see a skip as I go over here and pick up some of these packages. God, I may have to start doing these videos a little bit sooner, especially as trades or refurb work starts to pick up, which it is, because I'll be getting more of these packages uh, fairly often. Um, all right. This one is Thomas Jeffers. Um, again, I'm terrible with names. I hope you've included a note. If it's something we're working on. Let's crack this open. Oh. I knew all that stuff was going to fall. I was not careful. <laughs> I mean, I tried to be careful, but that's that's a mountain. There's a note on the top. Thank the Lord. It helps me, helps me know what's going on. All right. Dear Ring Bean, I love watching your live game hunting and Life of a Game Hunter Collector series. I have sent you a Game Gear for a recap and Game Boy for a full refurb and Game, game Boy Lite mod. I have also sent my copy of Mario. I can't get it to work. Please try to fix it. The rest of the goodies in the box are for you. Is this something that I think... I don't know if we're working on a deal um, where once I got it done, I would charge him for it. Hit me, hit me up on Instagram and we'll figure out what's going on from there. Because like I said, never send nothing unless we've agreed upon something. Like, you know, whenever I do my Game Gear mods or my Game Boy, anything that I do, I you know, this is what I do for a living. So i got to charge for it unless we're trading for it. Uh, so always make sure there's something set on or set for what we're doing. Which there may be on this one, I have no idea until I go back and look at the messages. We got an original Game Boy. Is that the one he wants to mod on? How's the screen look? Screen's doable. I remember talking to someone about a Game Boy and Game Gear mod. A uh, bunch of AV cables. Dear Lord, I love AV cables. Those be some of the goodies he's talking about, which I always need AV cables. Uh, let's see. He couldn't get his copy of Mario Brothers. Come on now. We, can, we hopefully can get that to work. He probably tried. Well, now them pens look pretty rough now. I could probably get that, get that playable. If not, I might have a copy. Who knows? We'll figure out what's going on with it. This room's gonna get trashed. I can already, I can already see it. We've only opened up two packages, but I do want to save that bubble wrap. All right. What? Are, oh, sleeves. Oh, sweet man. I need these sleeves for CDs. I use these when you're reselling a loose disc. Looks a lot more professional than that. Thank you for those. Oh, an N64 <laughs> power pack. Man, freaking awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and he sent a nice game. Oh, we got two manuals, too. We got Sonic Ultimate Collection and Star Wars Clone Wars. Uh, but his game gear, he's got the blue, so he definitely would want that one fixed up. Uh, message me on Instagram. Let me know what's going on so I know the full story of it uh, so we can get that figured out. But my memory is absolutely terrible, guys. And I don't think it's that my memory is bad. Just think of it like when you wake up in the morning, you got 30 messages to go through across all sorts of platforms. And you got someone wanting this, someone want to get this done. You got a trade going here. It's hard to keep up with everybody. Uh, let's see. Here's one. Um, Nathan Varble. Okay, I'm scared I'm going to lose this knife. If I lose this knife, someone can get hurt. Mainly me. I don't want that to happen. Nathan Varble, what we got going on here, buddy? God, why do I... I just, names... I'm telling you, put screen names on there and you'll be like, I know that guy. You'd be surprised. And you could do that in the mail. It ain't going to hurt you. Because you whenever I send mail, I just send it as Ring Bean. Or if I'm sending it to a subscriber or whatever, I'll put their screen name usually. We got a note. Notes are good. <laughs> you guys kill me with this shit, man. Uh, to the great and powerful Ring Bean. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. First off, love the channel and all the work you do. This isn't a trade. I messaged you on Instagram about fixing a game gear for me. Varble83, I know the name. Included a few things for you. The games need resurfaced badly. If you can get them to work, keep or use for coasters. The Sega Genesis, I attempted to fix a loose power plug. Uh, the work with no game will load past opening credits. Thank you again for working on my game gear. Message me on Instagram, uh, PayPal, so I can pay you. So he knows that it's going to be the service. But he, does, he doesn't have to pay me until it's done. Um, that's the way I do it. Everybody knows I'm a trustworthy guy. I will mail you what you got. It may take some time. 
if you send a package and you don't see it in this setup, it'd probably be on the next episode. It says that sometimes things can take some time. Uh, don't read on YouTube aloud. I won't. Don't worry. I won't. I won't read that. But I know what that is. I'm going to leave that in the box so I know what to do with this. That is his game gear, which I can feel that there. There is a Sega Genesis, which we'll see what we can get. And if it's a loose power plug, I've done a vlog on how to fix that with a quick solder. So we should be able to keep, get that up and running. As far I'm going to keep that in the box. I try to do that so I don't get lost on what I need to get done for people. We got some games here. They look like Saturn games, yeah. Virtual Fighter 2. There's some cool titles to have. We gotta get these to work if we can. Harvest Moon Magical Melody for the GameCube. Oof. Oh, if you can feel a scratch, it's it's not good. But we, we can always send it on the resurfacer and see what it does. And then another copy of Virtual Fighter 2. So we'll try to get those. Yeah, they're just scratched all the hell. But I actually have somewhat good luck with Sega Saturn games on a resurfacer. So anyways, I'm going to get this off to the side so I can remember put that with that other game gear. Oh, Lord. I don't know what to do here. So this is probably where you'll see a jump. Uh, this package I want to save for last just for the fact that that's got something to do with the channel. Uh, this one we can go through. This is Mr. Philip Hunt. I talk to him quite often. Uh, he messages me periodically. Um, he messaged me about doing this a while back, and I told him, hey, man, if you want to, I'll be more than happy to receive it. And he sent it here, and he, I think he said it was like just a bunch of stuff he wanted me to try, like cleaning items, things like that. So we're going to see, as long as I got the name right, hopefully, and the gorgeous letter right on top, which is always excellent. Hey, Reno, which he knows, that's actually what people call, that's, that's well, I ain't gonna say it's my real name, it's my last name, but that's what people uh, who talk to me often call me, Reno, rather than Reno, but you can call me either one. I chatted with you about sending you some products I think you might like when cleaning your video systems, etc. I've also included some other stuff I had laying around, thought you could use, uh, let's see, the graffiti remove is good for telling me about how to, how to use all this stuff, removing magic marker stuff and those dreaded silver sharpie Roman markers. That Goodwill put or uh, numerals that uh, puts on the back of the stuff. The Kapow wipes are also good. The alcohol wipes are great for cleaning everything. Um, he says he uses those a lot. Two part glue is very strong, crazy glue. Uh, what is it like? A, what am I thinking of? Two part mixing glue. What the hell, I can't think of it. Silicone lubricant is good for lubricating DVD drives. I didn't think about something like that. I've always just kind of used like just honestly just like random oil. Uh, let's. Uh, as always, I really love your channel and like your positive words of wisdom to be nice and courteous to people at sales. It does usually pay off. And you know what? It really does. Kind of courteous people. You'd be surprised what happens from it. Uh, shekel up, Phil. P.S. Be careful with the graffiti remover on labels. It will take the ink off. I guarantee it probably destroy a N64 label. So what do we got in here, guys? Oh, God. What did you say? Well, we got some random games that he said he had lying around. Chaotic Shadow Warrior sealed. I think. I don't think that's like a reseal. It could be. That's. I don't know if I even have that one. I don't know. I have to check. Very awesome. Uh, set that here. Bubble wrap over there. Oh man, what are you? What are you? What are you doing? I don't know about this. Uh, the box for Banjo Kazooie, and I think I have the Banjo Tui in box, but not Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> awesome man I, I i pretty damn sure i needed that maybe you talk to me about it people remember me better than i remember myself man uh let's see we got a weird sega genesis controller let's see yeah, sega genesis some weird high frequency i collect aftermarket controllers that's a freaky looking one look at that very neat all right this is the i'm gonna have put all this stuff in the shop and just have all oh, the Santa, Santa Claus for it too. That'll probably be really good for screens and whatnot. Very awesome. I'm going to keep his note. I keep all the notes, but I'm going to keep that one handy so I can remember what he said. The graffiti wipeout industrial paint remover. I wonder how well that actually... Ugh, never smell chemicals, guys. It's not, it's not what you want to do. Um, oh, I'm going to have to try that. He says, be careful on labels, though. I'm always interested in trying something that, that can actually, like 
do better than a magic eraser. Kapow, heavy duty clean towels. Uh, awesome. These are definitely some things. And they're all handy where you can grab them out very easily. That's going to make things a lot easier. Uh, let's see. This must be the, the glue. It's like in plastic of adhesive weld kit. Is that like a JV weld kind of thing? I want to pull everything out. We'll do this in the shop when we actually use this stuff. Very freaking awesome. I'm always excited to try products that I've never No, there's a oh there's a plethora of cords that I need, which is an N64 jumper pack, a PlayStation Slim cord, a jumper pack for a Nintendo. Freaking awesome, man. Is that for a PSP? Oh, I think it is. Yes it is. Oh, very cool. Microphone for the GameCube. Some Wii cables and then Super Lou. That's what he's talking about for like the, the disc drive and whatnot. Um, thank you so much, Philip, man. I am very happy about that stuff. And the, the box for Banjo, what the hell are you sending that for? I don't remember talking to you, but maybe I did. Um, oh, this room's it's going to turn into a disaster. We got six more packages to go through, dear Lord. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. That is awesome. Um, hmm. It's not that I'm dreading doing this. I just don't know how to how to attack these boxes. All right, this one here. Oh goodness, if I can get it without cutting myself. Grant Graveline, which I I know that I think I know that name. If if your screen name is like GG Graveline or something like that, I think I know. It. See, like I said, I'm better with with names. Um, I think I talk to him quite often too. Let's see what we got going on. no note what is in this what is this what have you sent is there a note oh, no note package well I don't know what this is <laughs> you little son of a bitch <laughs> Very, I don't know what this is about Oh, but that Zelda, everybody in that damn Zelda Shrine, man. I swear, anytime I wear this shirt when I do one of these episodes, someone sends something Zelda related. Look at this very awesome Ganondorf from The Wind Waker. That. Oh, God, I have no idea. I'm going to fit that on there. It's like, I need to stop, I need to tell you guys, stop sending this stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to build another shrine, man. But two Zelda Shrines? Imagine how freaking sweet that would be. I'm a huge fan of Zelda. Everybody knows that, man. Thank you. You. Like I tell people, save your money and buy a game, man. You don't have to send me anything. I will always make these videos as long as I can. Uh, God, I wish there was a note. But there isn't. But there is some some uh, Ingles bag, or not Ingles bag, but you have grocery bags. I use those whenever I ship items. Very good thing to use. I wonder where you learned that. Uh, that is, that is, that is gorgeous. That is, that is, I love things like this right here. Those things are awesome. I, oh, God, I, his laugh from the window. <laughs> Kind of sounded like the guy in Resident Evil, you know, what are you buying? You know, that kind of guy, what are you selling? Uh, all right, let's do a little skip over here so I can grab these packages. Package right here, no name on there. It's all right. Hopefully, it's nothing crazy. You never know. All right. Oh, no, I, I know exactly what this is. Got a little smiley face on the note. This was a message on Instagram, I believe, which is where that's the best place to reach me. Uh, let's see. Hi, Ring Mean. I love your YouTube channel. Just in case you forgot, I'm sending you this purple Game Boy Color. And he said he, on he only needed five original Xbox cases, just the cases. I was like, that's, uh, I sent him a message. I was like, that's unfair, man. I want to send you some other stuff on top of that for a Game Boy Color, the purple, which, guess what? I don't have it in my collection. It's very awesome to put that in the collection. Um, let's see. I want to thank you because you have helped me, uh, to get off my butt and go to flea markets and start to grow my kind of small, fast growing original Xbox collection. So thank you for making great YouTube videos. Keep doing great. Uh, C -M. and actually I'm, I need to, that return address is what I'm going to send him that stuff. But yeah, I sent a message. I was like, man, for five cases, that's it's one sided, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make the trade worth it if I can. And so I will definitely be doing that. Let me put that in here so I can remember. Very awesome. That Game Boy, that purple is one that I don't have for my collection. All right. Next one up. We got three to go through. We got Philip here. 
Uh, it's just Phillips, so that's all right. Well, that came off easy. This game is a wreck. <laughs> I start these videos like, you know what, we're going to do this right. We never do. All right, let's see here. Dear Mr. Reambean, I want to say thank you for the trade. I threw in Dreamcast games we agreed on. And the loose Spyro and Crash games, the discs are scratched, but they do play. Also throwing some extras that you can do with what you please. And thanks for putting out the, the videos from Philip 601 yank I, gotta, I don't remember what it was, but like I say, always message me. And when you message me, it shows me what we were talking about on Instagram. Like I said, the day after is usually whenever I go through all this stuff and just kind of figure out what's going on. So we got the bigs too. That don't feel like it's in there. The empty case. That's all right. I need empty cases from time to time. Mario, Sonic, and the Olympic Winter Games. Again, empty case. The empty cases don't bother me. All right. I don't. I don't remember what the hell we agreed upon, but we agreed upon something. If he said, if he put that in there, so Jack and Daxter. That empty. You just sent me a bunch of empty cases. What's going on? Motor Mayhem. Empty. I mean, I could use cases. I'm not. Trust me. If they're extras, I'm not worried about it. Crash Bandicoot and the Wrath of Cortex. That one, yeah. I almost got Crash Warped in there from PlayStation 1. Definitely needs to be cleaned up, though. He might play. Jam Pack. What was that, like a PlayStation 2 like demo? And then Expedition 7 demos inside. Demo disc for the original Xbox, which I love my demos. Uh, I do remember Slave Zero and Sonic Event, but I don't remember what the hell we were trading for. Uh, but yeah, we got Sonic Adventures and Slave Zero for the Dreamcast. Um, and Slave Zero, I don't believe... Uh, I do have Slave Zero. Um, but I think I was just helping him out with the trade. Like, he, he just wanted something. That's what he had to offer. I took it. Um, and then we got Spyro, Year of the Dragon, and Cubert. Very cool. Message me on Instagram. Let me know what's going on so I can re-it or re... Um, I don't know. Get, get back used to what the hell's going on. All right. We got three more to go, guys. All right, open this side. This is from Zach. Zach Melkire. I probably butchered it. Who knows? If I did, apologize. We're going to open from the side that he suggests. This little razor blade, boy, I tell you what, it could cause some damage, guys. Oh, and this has that, that, adhere, that adhesive. There we go. Mm. There we go. Open that side because there's a note. Awesome. Dear Rean Bean, thanks for making awesome videos and always keeping me entertained. I sent the bootleg system I messaged you about and also threw in some extra stuff I thought you would like. The Crash Bandicoot display was unfo uh, unfortunately already beat up when I found it, but I figured you would still be able to display it. Hope you enjoy it. Keep the great videos coming, man. From Zach. New Jersey. New Jersey, man. It's, it's weird to think I got people that watch me like next state over, you know? All right, I don't remember the bootleg. I never do. I don't remember anything. That's the way it goes. What is this from Pikmin? Yes, it is. Look at this. <laughs> it's awesome. That's, that's too cool. Oh, he's going in. He's going in the room. She, maybe? I can't. That's cool. All right. Got some good bubble wrap. That's the controller to the bootleg system, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember this thing, but I'm sure there's something's coming out of it. That's a freaky looking bootleg. It's even got a cartridge slot. I wonder. I don't fit Famicom games. Some of them do. Uh, it's a weird looking bootleg. We'll have to do a video on this. Uh, and then the controller. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that thing's terrible. <laughs> we'll have to do a video on that one. One of these days, we're going to find a bootleg. It's just the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Uh, AV cord, that's probably to that system. Same with this power adapter. What is... What the heck is this? Oh, oh I thought I had to not figure it out. Luckily, I got this blade right here. Breaking of this bag. What the heck is all this? Oh, we'll look at that other thing in a second. 
these Simpson characters? Oh, that is cool. These are all little characters from The Simpsons. I'm a huge fan of The Simpsons, man. Longest running cartoon series ever. Little Bart and everything. Oh, there's a bunch of them in here. Look at, look at. <laughs> That's awesome. There's some cool. What the hell? Where did you get these, or how do you? Look at, look at Krusty. God Almighty, he looks he looks jacked up. That's awesome. That is cool. I don't. I I got it. I got a uh, some sealed uh, Simpson toys in the living room. Those will, those will go good next to it. Very cool. All right, and then he said this was a display. Let's open open you up carefully. I can see the cardboard right here. I don't want to slice into it. Ooh, that is cool. It's the PS4 when they did that release. How does this go? It goes together like that. This will have to be. It can't be displayed in the game room because I took a lot of the modern stuff out. But this will look good in the living room. One of these days, I'll do a video of just like the other parts of the house. I got gaming stuff here. What is this? And Justice too. It's like, what the hell is that? Justice too. That I mean, I know what that is. I just don't know what this is. Maybe it's like a, maybe, oh, I think they're like graphics that I think you can put on something. Perhaps we got other stuff in here. Oh, very careful. What are these? The, the cases for the boxes? Package art. These are like little arts for. Oh, you probably can get these. Like, oh, that's awesome. Pokemon Ultra Moon, and I think these are what you see like on display. But it's not like the actual, that's cool. Thank you so much for that, man. Uh, stay tuned for a bootleg central in the future. I'm sure you will see that one on there at some point. All right. Um, this next this next package is huge. Well, actually, let's do, let's do, the, let's do the smaller package. I was going to save it till the end. Uh, but just for it, the convenience of it being right here versus this huge one. Um, this is from Mr. Parker, one of my buddies. Uh, we talked to him for quite some time. And he sends stuff periodically, and he said he sent another package, and something in here has to do with the channel, so I'll tell you about that when we get to it. Let's open it up, label up. If I'm not mistaken, he's not too keen on notes. Like, he, he I know who he is, so he doesn't have to send a note. Um, but I know one thing in here which I think a lot of you guys might be excited for. He always sends the most random stuff, like you, you have no idea the stuff he sends. You can already see just wild amounts of stuff. Alright. Quantum Fighter, which I do not have for the NES. Uh, Kabuki. A game I don't have for the NES. Not in the greatest condition, but I don't care about condition, guys. I've never been one of those people. Uh, just random stuff, man. This is the, like, this dude is Mr. Random, I swear to God. Uh... What is this? Ooh, soundtrack from Final Fantasy V uh, and VI. Very, I love soundtracks. Dream, Dreamcast uh, demos, that's freaking sweet. Those I do not have, and that'll actually be really fun to, to plug those in and see the old world of Dreamcast, man. Uh, one from the PlayStation 2. Everybody's hooking me up with these demos, man, I swear it. Uh, PlayStation demos as well. And he sent this, and he said that if I can get it to work, I, I told him if I can, I'm going to send it back to you. I, I don't know how, what my success will be. The Retro Duo, Duo Portable, I'm going to look up some issues, some some causes, and see if we can't get this thing working for him, because I do want to get that back to him. I'd love to keep it, but it's his. But I'm going to see if I can't get it done. Um, I don't know what the issue is. i got to look back at the comments, or what we've been talking about. Um, there, Let's see if I can pull this out and kind of show it better. Oh yeah, this is, he'll send me pictures of lots he gets periodically, and he'll be like, you need anything from this collection? I'll be like, I'm just missing now, and he'll just end up sending it to me. I'd make sure I only look at things that I don't have. I ain't trying to get one over or anything. The Lost World Jurassic Park. Complete. Very happy to add that to the collection. Uh, we got. He said this was just the box. I don't think anything. But it's to a Nintendo DS Lite. I don't have this. Yeah, the system's on there, which is perfectly fine, because I have a DS Lite, uh, but I don't have this box, and now I do. Very cool. Copy of Sonic uh, for the Genesis, which we will explain. 
Uh, he sent me a message. He's like, do you collect any uh, first party titles for PlayStation 3? I was like, well, yeah, it's all I collect. I don't do the third. He just sent a bunch, man. Uh, so we got Red Faction, Armageddon. I'm going to be adding a ton of games to the uh, collection. Uh, Sorcery. The Fight. Lights Out. Two Worlds. Is that one exclusive? I can't remember. See, sometimes you just send stuff just to send it, man. The guy confuses the hell out of me. Carnival Island. Definitely exclusive. Sean White Snowboarding. We got some Wii games. God, I love my crappy Wiis. Major Miners Majestic March. I know I don't have that because I don't nothing that sounds that damn stupid. Because uh, I remember, yeah, he, these are some of the ones I was like, I don't have these. Circus Games. Eminem's Beach Party. Science Papa. God almighty. One of these days I'm going to be playing these and we're going to make videos just playing terrible Wii games. Alright. We got Madden 07 Hall of Fame Edition. Like I said, he just sends stuff just to send it, man. That's where he just wants it out of his house into mine. Rugby 2005, which I may not have that for the original Xbox. I hope I don't. Uh, UEFA Champions League official video. Was that soccer or something? I know I don't have it. Well, that name didn't sprint at all. Legend of the Guardians. I don't have that. The Shoot. PlayStation 3. Uh, U-Star. U-Star in the movies too. Heavy Rain. That is a phenomenal game. So I hear. I want to play it. Everybody keeps talking about Heavy Rain. I have yet to play it. Um, Heavy Rain 2. Maybe I can actually sit down and play the damn thing. Start the party. Boy, you're sending the heat now. Start the party. Look at that. You know I'm about to get down on that. You guys are trip, man. Alright, so the big the, the big reveal is he's the one that did the NES. Uh, he gave me the NES to do for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. He's like, well, you know what, guys? We're going to have to do a giveaway at 15,000 subs if we get there. And so he's like, well, how about we do Sega this time? So we're going to have a Sega Genesis for the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Not to toot my own horn if we get there. We'll do it just like we did the NES. Uh, make it worldwide. We got controllers. We got, oh, this one, he said, is for me, though, actually. <laughs> but we do got one of the controllers. And he sent me this weird SG program pad 2 controller. He said I could use it, keep it, do whatever. And I'm going to keep that one because that one freaking funky. Uh, but we got the controller. We got a copy. Of course, I'm going to hook it up with some additional things, and we'll do that for the future giveaway. All right, guys. The final box, which is the biggest. Um, and I'm going to try to get that. I don't know when I'm going to get to working on that retro uh, duo, but I will try to get to it quick. And if I can or can't fix it, I'll send it back either way. Uh, this final package is huge. Oh, Lord. Oh, all right. Uh, I am literally out of room here, guys. Uh, <laughs> I got like a wall. I got Rob staring me down. He's like, what are you doing, man? All right, this is from Matt. I have dealt with him a handful of times, and he sent this big package. I think he wants to do a trip, but I don't think we settled on anything. He's like, I'll just send some stuff. Not what I like to do, mainly for the fact that I can't remember anything, but I have dealt with this guy enough. Uh, so we'll figure out what's going on. Let's see what we got. Because I have no idea. The guy, he's a cool dude. Um, definitely dealt with him a few times. This box is freaking huge. There's an egg carton in there. Um, I don't even think, I don't know if there's a note. There's like a bin in here. What the hell is that? Alright, let's look in this bag first. I didn't see a note. Um, so I don't know. This is a bunch of original Xbox stuff or 360 stuff. We got, uh, what does that go? Well, that's just an empty case for that, which was Gears of War 3, Sega GT, uh, with the Jet Set Radio on there, Namco Museum, Burnout, Star Wars, Starfighter, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Actually, that's just a case. Uh, but like I tell you guys, I, I, can, I don't mind cases. What is this? Dear God, what the hell is this? <laughs> the complete... Oh, and it says... It says we. This is a bootleg, but it says we on their little tag there. What the... Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a video. Oh, Lord. 
Me and my bootlegs, guys. I probably got the biggest bootleg collection on YouTube, man. It's nothing to be proud of. There's a heavy box. And there is a note, son of a bitch. Right down on the other side, because I opened it from the top. Let me pull it out. All right. All right. Mr. Ring Bean Shredder once again with a big box of what the fuck didn't you send me? You never sent me any pics of trade stuff, you lazy son of a bitch. Either way, I had a bootleg I had picked up for you, so I went ahead and included the N64 Power Bricks we talked about. We can settle up later on trade. On to everything else, lots of random games uh, and that need a little love or death, your call. Empty cases as well, plus random art and manuals. Cords are all stuff I cleaned from a bucket. Build, build up, toss all sorts in there. There is a sealed Wii game to add to your shitty Wii games as well. Everything else is just stuff. That's piled up on my end. I don't need. Hopefully there's something good for you, etc. As always, thanks for the entertainment and enjoyment of your vids. Have a good day. Also, a big <laughs> on saving the turbo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Shredder. As I remember, because you had an awesome name and I commented on that. Uh, so, yeah, we just got randomness in here. Which I, I, I'm for randomness. We got empty cases, but I always can use empty cases. Uh... Littlest pet shop friends for the Wii. Sending the fire. Oh, good God. Here, we'll look at the, this. At, oh, Lord. I don't need, I, I'm literally surrounded. I'm going to have to call for help from Ms. Reaming to help me out of this room. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's cool. Is this for like the... It's like a Tony Hawk like CD holder. Maybe for like PlayStation or something. That's, that's kind of trippy. I don't know what I'll do with that. Oh, yeah, randomness. Randomness everywhere. I love randomness because you never know what the hell you're going to find. It's like game hunting. You ain't got to go out. We Are the Madness 2016 tour. I don't know what that is. Maybe something he knows about, maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see. Random manuals. We got Tom Clancy Rumbles. Is that for, like, PC? It's got to be Maxoft. Yeah. All right, let's pull them out. Teen Titans for the GameCube case only, which is fine by me. I like GameCube cases I rarely have. My Sims Kingdom case, X Men Legends Two case. Oh, this. Oh, this is the. No, oh, this is the Heat. Uh, Story Hour Adventures sealed for the Wii. Oh my God! All right. <laughs> Feeling that damn the things that they send. Dear God. Uh, what is this? Oh my God! I hear rattling. This has to be the... Oh, Wii Sports Resorts. Hey, I can always take that. I can always... Oof. Yeah, you look pretty... Yeah, you're cracked. Oh, I got the case, though. And Bikini Bottom, if I ever come across that case. What the heck are these? What is it with the Simpsons stuff today? The Lego Dimensions? The Sentinel of Krusty? And his little bite? That's pretty neat. I don't have to go out there with this. I'm going to have, like, a Simpson shrine, too. God almighty. Oh, let's see... Add me on Snapchat, Texas, Ardia. So I don't know if that's him or if I'm promoting or what, but there you go. Zap away. All right. Sega Genesis NFL Football 94 starring Joe Montana. Sweet. <laughs> and we got another case right here. And there's... What the, what the hell is with the Simpsons shit, guys? The Simpsons... These boxers? <laughs> I'm definitely about to put these on and go in there and Miss Ream Bean let her know what's about to happen. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and then we got a random, I think he just used that for packaging. Yeah, just just the uh, random box. Alright, let's see over here what we got in this little bag right here. More games. Maybe. More cases. Either one. All right, let's see. I swear people send me stuff. They don't want it in their house. They're going to put it in my house. Zoo Tycoon for the, I guess, PC. Starsky and Hutch, PlayStation 2. Madden 2002. Star Wars Battlefront. Interesting. Dynasty Warriors 8 with Jack and Daxter in it. Star Wars Battlefront 2, the demo disc for the Xbox. That's neat. Pac-Man World Rally with the game in there. 
Barbie's Horse Adventures Wild Rescue. Oh, I was going to say, if that was in there, that's actually a pretty uncommon game. That case might actually be worth something, if I'm not mistaken. At least I know it is for Xbox. Despicable Me, the Blu-ray. What is that? Eh, it's in there. Actually, one Miss Ring Me probably want to see that. I ain't seen that. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition case for the 360. Very cool. And we got this heavy tote, which made up the majority of the weight of that box. God almighty, ain't no telling what's in here. Dear Lord. Um, a DC VGA box, very neat actually, right here to plug into the PlayStation if I'm not mistaken and give you VGA out, I can't remember. Uh, random cords, there's a Game Gear game in here, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, PSP charger maybe, a Sony something, infrared receiver, I don't know what the hell that is, oh mighty, a uh, PlayStation 2 Slim, and there is, I'm talking, a truckload of cords and cables that I'll have to go through. Uh, what is this? Wii Sports? There's a bunch of Wii games in here. Oh, they're, oh, they're scratched. Boy, man, I've been able to get them to play. Uh, let's see. There's a Super Mario World I can see. Oh, yeah, it's scratched. Maybe there's something he wants me to... I can't remember what the notes say. Maybe he wants me to try to fix up. Wii Play... Monster Buck. All right. But there's, I, I don't know if I can go through all these cords and whatnot, but there's N64 jumper packs. Guys, we got N64 jumper packs again. Alien Syndrome for the Master System. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We got controllers. We got adapters. We got the stuff I've been bitching about needing for a long time. <laughs> I think that is it, guys. Uh, thank you, Mr. Treader. That is awesome. Message me there, and like I say, any, any, any time. Anybody wants to send something, let's work something out first because I'm not going to remember any of this stuff or maybe something I don't agree on or what, but I'm usually a good guy about things. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's long, but God almighty, I'm going to regret cleaning this room up. You guys never have to send me anything. I love doing the trades, and I love doing the work for you guys. That's something that this series is mainly about. But like I said, you'll just see random stuff people like to send. And with that, thank you so much uh, for supporting the channel. As always, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.